Now let me introduce the uh, cable, cable, connection, cable connection port. You can see here, this is AC input, AC output. So this is AC input, AC output. Here is battery. Battery, battery connector here. And PV input is here. And here is the current sharing, current, current sharing uh, connection. This is communication port, these two. Okay. And uh, here, here this one, this is RJ45. This one is for monitoring system, for connected to the Wi-Fi or 4G port. And this one is for this black one, this one. This is for the um, battery communication, BMS communication port. And this is the drive point. Okay. And here is the switch. Now let's do in the first. Let's do in the uh, single phase parallel installation. And here you can see we have three piece IVEM 5 kVA. And uh, here you can see we connected the uh, AC output neutral here and here and here. Okay. And uh, first we need to make sure these parts, this neutral, is combined. Okay, and uh, also we connected the battery bank, battery source. We use the same one, this one, battery. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is an AC output neutral connection, first step. And then let's connect the um, current sharing cable and the communication cable. Okay, now we finish the current sharing cable. This one from first piece, the second piece, and the second one to third one. Okay, and the communication cable same. And the please make sure here is insert perfectly. Insert perfectly. Okay. And then the next step is let's confirm the neutral or the neutral output neutral AC output neutral is combined or not so uh, we need to use multimeter to confirm the neutral cable so let's select this one So we already confirmed the neutral combined uh, current sharing cable, communication cable is uh, connection well. And then next step is we can start to the parallel program when setting. So first step, let's turn on the battery. And then we need to set the inverters one by one. So first, let's turn on here.
Keep pressing enter. This is single and this is parallel. So we can select this one. Okay, and we back to the home page. Here you can see HS. If it's show HS means setting success. And then we can turn off. Okay, and then within it uh, totally shut down. Then we set second one. Back. Just this. Third one. And then we can turn on this one. Showing SL means slave. And this one. It's also showing slave. So here HS means the main one. Slave, slave. Now all three pieces. LED is green. It means output. So the last, the next step is let's confirm the output voltage. We need to select the AC voltage here, and then. output uh, 230 volts so now all output is normal and all the connection uh, communication cable are perfect and the next step is let's complete the output this output and AC input and uh, um, PV input uh, cables okay And before that, we need to turn off all inverters first. Okay. Then turn on battery. Turn off battery. Yeah.
Okay, now we complete the AC input and the AC output the L, AC input and AC output L, and AC input and the AC output L. And then let's turn on the system again. Turn on battery. One. Input to two. Input to three. Okay. Now all three pieces. Running success. Now let's do in the three phase, uh, three phase system uh, installation. Okay, and uh, first step as like before, first uh, mounting these inverters. Okay, and uh, here the cable layout here. This is AC input. This is AC output. AC input. AC output. AC input. AC output. And the battery cable. Battery cable. And battery here. And uh, the first step is only connect the, for the AC input and output, first is only connect the neutral here. Only this cable connected, like the single phase parallel. So strip is same. First, they need to make sure that all the neutral combined. Okay, then we connect the uh, communication cable and the current sharing cable. Now we connected the communication cable because this is only three piece inverters for three phase parallel system. So each phase only one piece. This is phase one, this is phase two, this is phase three. But if you have more than three piece, if we have, if for example, you have six piece and each phase have two piece. And then in the same phase, two piece, you need to connect the current sharing cable. But the between the different phases, you only need to connect the communication cable, this one. The current sharing cable is no need. This is current sharing cable. Current sharing cable only for same phase. Okay, same phase during um, the same phase connection. Okay. Different like a phase one, phase two, phase three. Only need to connect to this one, the communication cable. After we complete the cable connection, here neutral connection and uh, this communication cable connection, and then next step is we need to confirm the uh, first. Uh, we need to use multimeter to confirm the neutral combined, and here also is tight, like here communication cable connection is tight to make sure all the connection well. This is uh, same like sing single phase parallel. So select this and here. Let's confirm this neutral, all the neutral combined. From first one to second one, second one to third one. Okay. Neutral combined. Okay, now we confirm the neutral combined communication communication cable connection well and then next step is to do the program setting so let's let's turn on battery and turn on the inverter it's same like uh, 
single phase setting one by one. So this is the three piece one. This is three P one. Three phase phase one. Confirm. Then back. Here you can see P one. Okay, and then turn it off. Okay, second one. This is uh, phase two. We need select phase two. P two. Okay, and off. We didn't shut down. The next one, last one. P three. Okay, phase three. So this is setting six. Yes. And after this one, you can turn on one by one. This one, this two, this three. Okay. Now all is output, is output. So then let's confirm the voltage. Okay. All three phase output voltage confirmed. And then next step is let's complete this connection. This is AC input, let's complete it. AC output L, let's complete it. And the second one, third one, same. So first, let's turn off. Let's turn off system first, okay? Off inverter, off inverter, off inverter. Then turn off battery. Make sure all power source, all power is off. Then let's start complete cable connection. Now we just complete AC input, AC output, AC input, AC output, AC input, AC output. Okay, now we can turn on the system again to do the final step. Turn on battery. Okay. Turn on invert one, phase one, phase two. Phase three. Okay, now all three phase output.